Hello friends, Pushkar here, back again with another video. In this video, I will solve a new lead code medium complexity problem. So without any further ado, let's get started. So today's problem is continuous subarray sum. So in this problem, you are given an integer array nums and an integer k and you have to return true. If in the array, there is a continuous subarray of size at least two, whose sum is a multiple of k. Otherwise you have to return false. For example, in this uh, example one, this is your array and k is six. So there exists a subarray two and four, okay, whose uh, sum is a multiple of six. So the sum of two and four is six and six is a multiple of six. The only six is not answered because uh, the subarrays need to be of size at least two, okay. So, so two and four is a valid answer in this case or in the example two, the sum of all the five element is 42 and 42 is a multiple of six so this is also valid however in the example three uh, there is no sub array whose multiple is 13 okay so the answer is uh, false so let me tell you the mathematical aspect of the solution so so we have an array and let assume that the sum of first few elements okay is s1 and the sum of next uh, again uh, some uh, some element is um, s2 okay in such a way that the remainder of s1 is equals to remainder of s2 okay and remainder is uh, r1 is equals to like s1 modulus k and r is s2 modulus k okay and since you can see that s1 s2 is basically equals to s1 plus some x element okay so can i write something like this s1 modulus k is equals to s1 plus x modulus k where x is this one okay the extra numbers okay this number so this is x okay so this will equals to s1 modulus k is equals to s1 modulus k plus x modulus k so this will cancel so basically x modulus k is equals to zero so that means the x is a multiple of multiple of k so basically uh, so you can say that this x is k times some y okay so so basically you have to find two prefix sum prefix sum is like the sum of all the element from the beginning till that point such that their remainder is same okay so to do this so to do this we will use hash map to find our solution let's start the implementation i have already created a public static word bin to check our solution so in the method we have given an array nums and k so let's first create the prefix sum so for prefix sum, there already exists an inbuilt method provided by Java called parallel prefix. Okay, so arrays dot parallel prefix that takes num and the a function accumulator function. Okay, that takes two um, integer as parameter and generates one integer as the output. Okay, so basically now the nums is converted into a prefix sum. Okay, so basically your num is one, two, three, four. Then now after this, your prefix sum, your uh, your num will be one, three, six, and ten. Okay, now let's create a hash map. So map integer integer. Let's call it map. Let's import the and use hash map as the implementation
and let's put our initial value that is zero so the second parameter is the index of our remainder why we are pick, uh, storing index because we also need to check the size of this sub array that it should be greater than two greater than or equal to two so now let's iterate from the uh, beginning so int i is equals to zero i less than norms dot length i plus plus so in remainder is equals to nums i modulus k and just simply check if map dot contains t as remainder if it contains then let's check the size whether the size is greater than two or not so size will be i minus okay so first of all if it is not uh, if it doesn't contain so we'll simply store it in our map so map dot put remainder and its index index is i okay so now in if it is if it contains then simply check whether the size is greater than one or not or equal to or basically more uh, greater or equal to two or not so basically i minus map dot get a remainder okay that should be greater than one okay or be it like greater or equals to two so if it is there then simply return true if it's not then at the end it will be false okay so now let's run the code it should be true in this case yeah, as you can see it has written true so now let's copy it and check on the lead code so copy let's run the sample code as you can see it has passed the sample uh, test cases and there is no syntax error so let's submit this So as you can see that it has passed all the test cases and the code has been accepted. So yeah, this is what in this video. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe my channel. I will keep posting lead code medium complexity problems. Till then, take care.